Hey guys, Josh Small, The Voice, and we are here in Crested Butte where we're gonna check out the local pump track and some of the bike trails. Miles, do you have your shoes on? Are you ready to go? Oh, I will. We're gonna get going as soon as Miles gets his shoes on. Are you ready, Ginger? Yep. My all shoes right. aren't on either though, so. Well, we're off to a slow start, but that's all right, we're on vacation. Well, we had our fun at the pump track. Now we're gonna go cruise around. And guys, I'll be honest with you, I got the kids. I'm not even gonna scratch the surface of Crested Butte here, but we're gonna see what we can. And from everything I read, this is an incredible place to come ride. So not only do you have the trails in and around town, but you got the Crested Butte uh, ski resort where there's a ton of trails and uh, just lots of good alpine riding in the Aspens. And it's, it's a really cool place. So we're gonna try and just get a taste of what the riding's like around here. One of the cool things, they have this great bike path. You can pretty much ride anything from a BMX bike all the way to a, well, you can about ride a road bike on this path. And it gets you in and out of town and there's a lot of trails that split off. In fact, check out the map right here. We're gonna do our best to explore just a tiny bit of what's going on here. Miles, is this the size of the bridge we should build in our backyard? <laughs> Too bad our lawn's not this big. Uh, we'll look over there. Is that pretty? Well, I don't care where you go here in Crested View. We're on probably the most boring, blah, flat piece of bike riding road or trail or path or whatever you want to call it there is. But even here, the scenery is absolutely breathtaking. All you got to do is look up and your mind's going to be filled with lots of colors, smells, sights, epic things. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, so Willow and I ascended Tony's trail up from the bike path. And uh, I think we're gonna cruise upper loop trail 435. And then we're gonna catch Lupine. Now I was told by a couple of the, the uh, trail care people that the climb up and over to get over towards Lupine is pretty technical, but Willow and I here, we're gonna give it a shot. That's gonna take us and loop us back into town. I'm good. 
This trail's so easy, I can do it one-handed, sweetie. Man, so far so good. Will and I are having a great time, aren't we, kiddo? You having fun? Let's put that helmet down where it belongs. There we go. There we go. So yeah, we're up on the, making our way over to the Looper, Lupine Trail, and it is really nice. I just gotta decide if I'm going this way or that way. Behind me, nice little rocky climb going up. We are in the Aspen Girls now. I'll tell you what, it's good. Man, it's beautiful up here, but I won't lie to you guys, it gets tricky. With a few technical sections here, and it would almost be more fun, I bet, going down, you can barely see the trail goes down there. Coming down this instead of going up. It's because you can ride up the road to get to the top of this and then descend down this, which would be a great challenging downhill full of roots and rocks. Well, and I, we're going to keep on keeping on. We're going to get through this. We're almost there. Well, right now we made it to the intersection of the upper loop trail, number 435, and happy hour. Now, we're not going to take happy hour because I don't know this place well enough. I don't know where it goes. I think this upper loop trail will take us back to the road and we can catch Lupine from there. And uh, little Miss Willow, she's ready to call it a day, so we're gonna loop around. Willow, Willow, what, what do you wanna do? Go see Nana. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do that. Let's loop it around and go see Nana. We're pedaling, pedaling a little piece of pavement right now up by the Crested Butte Ski Resort and making our way over towards the Lupine Trail. You got to kind of go way around on the roads. You know what? That's all right because it's beautiful here. Don't mind it one bit. All right, guys. So right up here about where that house is right there. That's where we popped out. We came down this road, came out all the way over there down and then show you there's our trailhead right there that's where it's lupine and that's where we're headed now like, kind of kind of be so the best mountain as mountain. you can see we i thought the trailhead was way down there so road down there didn't know where to go we bumped into this group guided group and uh, they showed us we we're supposed to ride all the way down the end of the road so that's where the lupine trail is so we ride up the hill above that barn we catch the lupine trail from there. Somebody's on your back tire and... Have a good ride, guys. You too, man. So the lupine trail, well, not super technical and challenging, it's really beautiful. Lots of great views, a little bit of exposure as you can see here, but for the most part, man, it's worth the climb up. Great little warm up. Conditions right now are pretty dry, almost desert dry here. It's been a pretty generally dry year for the Southwest. But you can imagine, get a little rainstorm in here and you've got hero dirt in no time flat. So here we are, climbing up again after a really amazing fun downhill. Big swoopy smooth turns to the switchbacks. A few little bumpy rocky sections, just enough to keep it interesting. And now we're climbing up an old Jeep road. Got a whole crew of guys behind us. We're gonna pull over and let them by. Have a good ride, guys. You ever try to ride a bike? You got a two-year-old bobbing around because they're literally falling asleep while on the bike. And then it's unlike the backpack where they can just fall asleep. 
she falls asleep, I can't really go down any hills. So we might be in a little trouble here. All right, so we just passed the Gunsight connector. We're back on Lupine single track. I got one little problem. This little one is basically asleep on me, which means I can't go ripping the downhill. I can't put her on my back. She's stuck where she's at. But we can't sit here and let her take a nap for an hour. We gotta get back because we are headed to Uray and Ridgeway and the Telluride area next. But I can tell you what, we did a little less, nice little ascent there. We're back on the downhill single track going through the Aspens. This is gorgeous trail that just begs to be ripped. Even when Willow quits, the Pivot Mach 5.5 keeps on trucking. So now we're getting to the lower section of Lupine. And once again, it's a little dry and dusty like I talked about earlier, but man, it is like good swoopy big turns. A few little bumpy sections just to keep it interesting. This right here. Nothing too crazy. Just enough to keep it fun and interesting. How we doing, Willow? Good. Are you alive? Uh -huh. Good. Well, we've done it. We have reached the bottom of Lupine, and now we're headed back into town. Overall, pretty awesome piece of trail. I'd love to come back here and explore more, but it's time to get back on the road and go to Telluride. Let's go to downtown and check that out a little bit, find some cool restaurants and uh, great little shops. Nice bike. So when you've worked up a big appetite riding the Crested Butte trails, don't forget to check out Secret Stash Pizza. We ate there last night, and I'll tell you, they've got some of the wildest, craziest pizza. They got baked pasta dishes, a killer salad bar, and some snazzy desserts. Heck, if that doesn't do it for you, they got some great ice cream shops around town and a couple of really cool bike shops. This is definitely a place I'm gonna come back to.